Welcome to another edition of Football 101 here at PhiladelphiaEagles.com. I'm former NFL offensive lineman Ross Tucker with you yet again, breaking down another basic concept of the sport of football to make sure that you guys are smarter than all your family and friends when it comes to the Eagles and when you're watching the games on Sunday. Remember, you can always go back and get the past episodes at PhiladelphiaEagles.com. You also can always check me out if you'd like over at RossTucker.com. I got a bunch of podcasts just for you. Today we're looking at screens, which I love because an offensive lineman is one of the few times that you're able actually to get out so that your mom or your wife or your sister can see you on TV. And that's the base screen, which is what we'll start with here with the Green Bay Packers. This is sort of the old school screen that you see all the time. And the goal is usually to get the center and both guards out there in the formation. Typically you wait about two seconds until the quarterback delivers the ball and you'll see the left guard, center, right guard, all in front of Eddie Lacy. They timed it up absolutely perfectly and it looked like the Bears had no idea what was going on, which is why Eddie Lacy gets a huge, huge gain on this play. Hard to believe the Bears could have defended that play any worse than they did right there. The next screen we want to take a look at is the jailbreak screen. You'll see it's the Vikings against the New York Jets. What does the jailbreak screen really mean? It's to a wide receiver. At the top, you're gonna to see Jarius Wright. Now the two inside receivers, they are the ones that are going to attempt to block. So this number two receiver will have the number one defender. The number three receiver will have the number two defender. And then you like to get one offensive lineman out. Looks like on this one, it's the center, John Sullivan. He's gonna try to get to number three out there if he can. But that's a jailbreak screen. Everybody's running free like it's a jailbreak. Sullivan doesn't even get near his defender, but thankfully, number 37 for the Jets misses the tackle and Jarius Wright is able to do the rest. Next up, let's take a look at the Eagles and let's look at a bubble screen from a couple years ago with Riley Cooper against the Oakland Raiders. This is where the only blockers are gonna be the two receivers. Riley Cooper sort of bubbled it a little bit to get back to that point. And then he has a bubble in front of him as well with Selleck blocking for him and trying to get some space in front of him. So that's where the bubble comes from, is that the wide receiver actually goes back a little bit, and you're hoping to get a bubble and some good blocks in front of them. Both tight ends got pretty decent blocks there, which led to a long, long run for Riley Cooper. The last screen is one we're seeing more and more often in the NFL. They didn't run this when I played, and I'm not even that old, but this is a drop back screen. So everything about it, the offensive lineman, everybody about it looks like it's a drop back pass, but if you take a look a little bit closer, it's actually going to be a screen. You'll see Pierre Garçon, he's gonna come in motion and you'll see him come underneath. But here's the key, everybody's blocked. So it looked like a drop back pass, but really when you look at it, all the guys to the top of the screen, they were blocking all along. It was a drop back screen. And after that, Pierre Garçon gets pretty good blocking. He's a pretty good guy with the run after the catch and it's a big gain for the Washington Redskins. That is a newer screen, which we're seeing more and more in the NFL. So those are the four screens that are probably most common to the NFL game at this point. So now you have a little bit of a difference between the base and the bubble and the jailbreak and the drop back screen when you're watching this with your buddies, your coworkers, your father-in-law, whoever. Now you know more than they do. And if you wanna to continue to know more than they do, check out the rest of the Football 101 segment over at PhiladelphiaEagles.com.